Say hi! Come on, Bear Wolf. Whoa! That's a good park, Josh. It's a broom, it's not a magic wand. Hey, Eric, you need a monster for this? Yeah, there's little gnats are everywhere. <laughs> Hardest working crew in the country right here. You guys busy? I just spilled my entire Sprite. Were you washing your beard again? Oh my, is there a lucky day? Yeah! Easy money! Good morning, it is five o'clock and I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're gonna go finish up the driveway that we couldn't finish up yesterday because of the rain. Today is still kind of iffy, but I'm hoping for the best. And when we're done with that, we're heading to a new project. It is a colored and stamped patio and a colored and stamped stoop. The stoop, we're gonna use form liners on the steps. We've done a few of those or a couple of those this year and that looks awesome. And then we're gonna use the Inca texture with hand tool control joints on the patio portion of it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, doing my sight. Yep, it? too much cash, huh? Yeah. Wish that was the way at home, right? <laughs> Thank you. All right, enjoy your day. Thank See you. See you next time. Hi, Missy. Have a good day. It is 529, just pulling into the yard. Nobody's going to be here, obviously. I came here early because I need to load some stuff, the attachments for the skid loader. So as you might know, our big equipment trailer, it's broken. It's in the shop getting repaired. So kind of have to... I kind of have to just put attachments wherever I can. And we need the beaker or the beak, the breaker, and the auger today. So I'm gonna put uh, some of the stuff on Bug's truck and then some of the stuff on my truck. We gotta do what we gotta do until the equipment trailer is completely fixed and back. pull this truck out put the beak on it and that's pretty much it I gotta find some straps tied on those attachments Eric's here got the bag you got the bag got the stash. that's it yeah no way yeah, right. is this even mine Good let job. me see if the pants are 34 they're mine yep yep they're mine 34 <laughs> 34 slim. You got my money too? Yes, sir. Okay, 375 G's. Man, we gotta do these deals in the dark now. Huh? It's getting serious. Francisco just texted me, he said there's traffic, he's gonna be late. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Morning. Morning. Uh, I need 12 yards for my seven o'clock. Six and a half bag, low shirt, air, microfiber, five inch slump, 20 minutes apart, half a percent NCA. All right, thank you. Thanks, sir. Yep. Concrete sword ordered. 554 right now. This truck fired up for Big Ray. We're just gonna take this one to the next job. We're not gonna take the Mac until tomorrow morning. Man, you're blinding me. Hey, you're supposed to be here. Who are you? <laughs> we gotta start early now because the concrete plant is so busy, they said we have to do all our pours at 7 a.m. Morning, B-Ray. All right. All right, see you later. Ah, we got the Victory sweatshirt on and everything. Yeah. You're oh, ready. That's outfit. I got I to gotta wash. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, we're just taking this today. Okay. Because we're going to another job right after we're done pouring. Sounds good. Does this thing need fuel, probably? Fill the skid loader, too. Skid loader. And the truck, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he can leave now and just meet us over there. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, I gotta get some stuff. All right, I'll meet you there. So, well, you can, yeah, just go to the job. Yeah, Eric's right. already here, Tino's going straight to the job. He already texted me, yeah. I'm gonna run now because the job is like 100% ready to go. There's not a lot of prep work. I even marked the joints because we were gonna pour it yesterday. So I have time now, I can run and get some two by eights so we don't have to stop in between jobs. I put the form liners in the back of this truck yesterday last night uh, so we have those ready to go I got to get some sauna tubes two by eights and I think that's about it the only thing I don't know right now 
is uh, what the riser height's gonna be. I don't know if the, the uh, form miners are gonna work or not, but we're gonna find out. 605, I'm at Home Depot. I'm gonna grab the materials that we need. And this truck really comes in handy, I'll tell you what. Just having a big flatbed like this with a, well, it's a dump bed, but it has full down sides, so same difference as a flatbed. Just throw anything you need on there and bam. Ah, here we go, beautiful. It's interesting how they do that. They make them smaller or different sizes so they can stack them or put them inside of each other. Some of these are bad, really bad. I can live with that. Thank you, me too. What's up? <laughs> That's a good park job. No, it's not right. It is. <laughs> oh, Tino's here. And look at Eric, he looks like he's ready. Ready for a nap on the park bench. This is what we're pouring, it's 12 yards. Should have been done already, but what are you gonna do? We are ready, just waiting for concrete. Everything's out, set. Concrete's here. Hope you guys are ready for this big one. Oh, yes. hey, Eric, you need a monster for this? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, look at Eric. He's ready. Come on, Eric. Go. Hurry up Go and finish up. that monster. <laughs> Morning. Where's your mask today? Uh, head has been chewing me out since it's been the way. I liked how it was on your head. I mean, that was good. That looked good. Ray's asking for more and the truck's empty. He's like, more, and the drum's already turning. He was. First truck's empty. Yeah, I don't know, they're all over the place. The gnats are everywhere. You can't even see them, that's the problem. Yeah, their little gnats are everywhere. You can't fight them, they gang up on you. Plus you can punch them as hard as you can and they just keep flying. You can't knock them out. They're like indestructible. They are. Yeah, you know like in some of the games you'll flash blue or flash red, indestructible. You're trying to hit them and you miss. Yep, next truck's here. That's good. You can't fight them. You can't hit them. Look, they you move. You can't hit them because they move. Yeah, like, look, at, look at, they just so annoying. You gotta go fast. <laughs> and they're like, you miss. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's gnats everywhere. There's no wind at all today. Nothing. Zero. It's so humid too. Yep. Next week's supposed to be like 70 as a high. It's gonna be really nice next week. Take it easy, Ray. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> it's a lot of shaking there going on. Right, driveway's all down. It's gonna be a minute before I can even put joints in it. Gnats are just attacking us. Gnats are terrible. I don't know, it was weird. They weren't here yesterday. There was a little breeze yesterday. Maybe it was blowing them away, but they're bad. Really irritating. Whoa, you scared me, man. <laughs> Snapping lines. See it up there? Oh man, these gnats. Woo, just let me take the slack. You're just gonna make a tangle. Oh, line snap. Gonna start cutting joints. It's gonna look a little weird right through here because there's gonna be one side that has bigger squares than the other side. It's just the way that it is. 
the driveway's wider up here and then it's got a jog and then it narrows down and that side's on an angle so it's just the way that it is man this stuff is really wet like really wet the stuff yesterday set up a lot faster and this has more NCA. I don't know, I don't understand it. That's weird. All right, I'm gonna finish up cutting these joints and I'll come back up here and cut the center joint. Shoot this center joint. You could probably see from here, right in the center there where the curb ends, that side's gonna be wider than this side, or bigger squares I should say. But then at the end it matches and then up here it's fine. It's just a little part of it. Just because of the weird angle of the driveway and i don't want to i don't want to take the joint and angle it this way and then angle it that way i actually think it looks better if it's just straight all the way of the joint hardest working crew in the country right here <laughs> i'm ready by command hey. by command. <laughs> I, can, I can do what you're doing right now can you Maybe, I don't know. Nah. Sure. Would it actually be good is the question. Probably not. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Forward and back. Forward yeah. And back. Or, or pushing a stick through the mud. Yeah, it's super easy. You just grab it and just go. There was a guy, he was like an inventor, and he actually like made like a drawing for me. He was making, he wanted to make this contraption. You set it on the ground and it actually pushes the poles out for no you. No way. Pushes what forward? The poles. It just, the poles go right through the device like yeah. straight forward but i told him the big problem is you can't just go forward it's got to go up right. and down yeah. i Back said you can't forward. just yeah you, you can't just push it out there he did like three different drawings i keep telling him that's going to be a problem and finally i was like it's not going to work man just stop <sighs> well he wanted to go in like business with me like partner yeah. up uh, i was just i just saw too many problems he could tell he was like a super smart guy yeah oh yeah are you sure he wasn't able to think of something i don't know he man have, it's yeah, i thought of something i mean look how much movement you got to go down yeah, and then you got to up and then as it. you're going it hits rocks and then where are you going to so, test it on the job you really i mean you well, really got time to do that it's not only that it's look at the poles right right it hits rocks in the in you know it'll go like it'll go side to side i can push this part perfectly straight and the joiner is not going to go perfectly straight i mean it would be nice you just set the machine down and zoom it's perfect that'd be amazing and then the concrete it's all different stages sometimes it's hard you got to work it and work it and work it there's so many variations and so many variables it's just it's not going to be possible for a machine to do that lady with the lexus i was going to buy for my daughter she won a 10 for it's a 2007 rx 350. She you? no i offered her 8500 because i felt like 8500 is a fair price yeah. you know i was looking up the prices i mean it's nice and stuff but it's not perfect she said no so i'm still looking for my daughter man i'm having a, such a struggle finding a car for That's my daughter crazy. they keep going up man used car prices are insane why are you walking over like you're the boss i got this boss i got this <laughs> Come over here, I'll show you something real quick. So what I did here is I put a curb on his driveway. Mm -hmm. So I'm protecting your foundation from any water. Yeah, I saw that. So I told him, I said, I'm putting a curb on because oh, it's a Debbie too much. I mean, he's already been sending water all those years. So you're going to yeah. dry up a lot nicer now. Take a look at it. And, and Let me grab a, are you, you got a couple minutes? Yeah. Let yeah. me grab a tape measure. Not so much about the, the cracking for me. His was a lot worse. Yeah, it that was. was bad. That was bad. A long time ago well there's enough slope out that way if you take this part down some you could get all this water to keep flowing because yeah. some of your driveways are still in good shape up here yeah pretty good shape probably would have to take it out at least to here okay. at least to here so what i'll do is i'll measure from here mm -hmm. because this dips down right here and then and then it's it's not going coming backwards but uh what's happening is it's like this and it's stealing pitch so if we were to put it on one plane from here you know to the street or, or till we have pitch that's hogging a little bit of pitch so try to keep as much pitch as we can you could pour right up against the foundation if you want yeah. it's better to pour up against the foundation because then you're never going to have any water down there all right let me just grab some measurements good news too last night this is actually a funny story so last night i went to a job the guy reached out to me a while back and i was super busy and i just kind of blew him off i just didn't have time to give him an estimate so i blew him off and then he texts me 
on my personal cell phone number, which I, I'm not even sure how he got it. He texts me, can you please give me a bid? I blew him off again. He texts me again. I blew him off again. <laughs> and then he called me. Uh, this is over a matter of, this is over a time span of three weeks, maybe more. And then he called me and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go and do it. He said, well, I'm not going to be there. Just measure it. I was like, all right. So normally those people aren't serious. Um, but, you know, he had been calling and texting. So I went over there. I measured it last night. It was a big driveway. It was pretty expensive. And I measured it and I called him. I said, hey, I measured driveway. It's going to be whatever it was. And verbally right over the phone, he's like, okay, go ahead and do it. <laughs> so that's probably one of the last jobs I need to sign for this year. Uh, that's several days worth of work right there. So pretty much booked out this year. I might have a opening for a couple small jobs, but that's it. So that was interesting last night, whole driveway and then a curb along the neighbor's foundation, kind of the same thing to protect them now. So and that'll remedy all your water issues on the driveway as well. I can give you my, you got my number? Did you save it somewhere? Yeah, I take got, a picture? I the off the truck. All right. Yep, that's perfect. All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, yep. That. Sure, have a good one. I got it. Yeah? Yep. You guys busy? Still wet? Oh, oh, you're exercising. Yeah. Man, you're loaded. Look at you. <laughs> you can't even do exercises without money falling out. Yeah, right. Bugs, we're going to dinner tonight at 7 o'clock if you want to come. It's all the way out at my house. Yeah, I appreciate the offer. That's just so much driving, but thanks for asking. It's free. I understand that, but it's dead delivery date. Oh, chickens. All right, guys are on it. Still pretty wet. This is super dangerous, Eric. Yeah, that'll Super stain dangerous. Stain it. Not only saying it goes on there, it'll take the surface off. <laughs> it does. It's like a surface retarder. It is. It's acidic, but it's sugary, so the sugar what makes the top not set up. Yeah. Let me see yours. There's a couple holes over here too. It's a broom. It's not a magic wand, man. You know what I'm saying, Eric? Here you go. Here you go. Wow, did you see the flip? Yep. That was a kick flip Ollie 360. Yep. Barrels here. Oh, they all came together. So Tyler from ProLine's here. I've been buying a lot of tools from ProLine and uh, we become friends. And Farrell, I bought a lot of stuff from Farrell. So they're here as well. We're actually all gonna go to dinner tonight, bringing my guys. ProLine's buying us dinner and they told me to pick a restaurant. <laughs> I picked a really expensive restaurant. I'm gonna tell him that, he doesn't know that yet. I picked a really nice steakhouse. Hey, you guys are Riding three deep in the feral pickup. How you guys doing? Hi, how you been, buddy? Good, good, good to see you. See you. Santino. Nice to meet you. you too. Are you with Farrell? I am. Okay. Day. Good to see you again. Yeah, so it's his fourth day on the job. Fourth day? Yeah, yeah he's in better shape than you. I think he's gonna do just fine. Yeah, like Absolutely. lift that, grab that, go Absolutely. get that. We are already doing that this morning. Well, Farrell's a good company, so it'll yeah. be easy to sell with them, yeah. Plus you can sell Proline tools and everything, so. That's perfect, right? Uh, they've been doing good right? Right yeah. You've been selling good? Yeah. That's yeah, good because yeah. good because I picked a really expensive restaurant. I don't know if I you know, noticed I, that. I, I, that's why I heard it's a good restaurant. <laughs> it's really cool. good. No, My wife good. and I go there sometimes like if there's a occasion or whatever. Yeah. It's good food though. You'll like it. No, like I, it I love it. I hate it when somebody picks like pizza or yeah. blah, blah, blah. I, I hate that kind of food. Yeah. I'd much rather go get a good dinner. Yeah, it's a good dinner. Yeah, yeah it's a real nice no, place. Man, that's nice because it's big. Yeah, no, big? Exactly. that's big. It's, instead of moving four boards, yeah, one tool. It's back to the five by five. And and these are made like those super skins. These are called yep. super stamps. Yeah, that's like a different they're, different they're thickness. So it's, it's like crazy. half. Feel how stiff it is. Though? Yeah, it is. It's yeah, nice, man. What do you call this? This is reclaimed timber gang tool. Yeah. So is, yeah. what is this? Eight inch, nine inch? It's ten. It's ten inch. Okay. Yeah. These are, I just threw some of these in here. It's it's funny. I didn't know you're that into the easy tick already, 
I brought these and brushes and cups of water. I was gonna, I was gonna run you through Easy Tea Girl fast. No, I've been. No, but I'm, I'm pretty. Gotta, you gotta I've, go. I mean, I got it. I've learned a lot, so I'm super comfortable with it now. Perfect. Like when you first start something, you're like, eh, that's why the very first time I used it, I did it at my own house. Yeah. And yeah. I put it on too light. Yeah. And then I had a patio that I did right after that, and then I, I. I dosed it heavier and I put more on and I used the car wash brush yeah. instead of spraying it. You bet. And I was yeah. able to have more control. Mm -hmm. And then if you got a spot you don't like, you just walk back out there and like just swoosh it around a little bit. And 100%. you're like, okay, it's perfect. No, Easy Teak was new to me this year and I'm glad I cool. tried it. I cracked up when you called me and said, yeah, I had this great idea. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, I thought I was, I was like, man, I have this great idea. I'll make, <laughs> we can make rubber strips that'll fit into the joints. And then he's like, oh, I've had those for like a Crushed decade or something like that. That, that was my, <laughs> that was my brother's great idea about 15 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> man. He brought us all kind of goodies. I got, ro we got rollers for life. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys a little later tonight. I got to go broom that concrete back yeah. there. Yeah, no, go get it. And, yeah. And yeah, we'll see you at dinner at 7, huh? Yep, yep. Looking that sounds that sounds great. Should be a party. You guys you guys coming or are you? Yeah. Yeah. Tonight? Yep. You're invited? And you're the new guy? Man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Hey, you got it. That's the stuff we use all the time. All right, I'll see you guys it's a little awesome later. Here, yep. See you tonight. All right. Don't be late. Uh, we won't. You want a hat? Yeah, right. I, think one. Wait, oh, I, I got that one ready. Which one you want? Oh man! See, you've been sending me These too much stuff. Spoiled. You've been oh, sending too much yeah, stuff. Well, oh, I got that one I already. Got that. I, cool. I got that. I got that one. I got already. this one. This one. Oh, thank you. For you. Where's Big Ray? Oh, I got a shirt for you or a couple. Big Ray loves the shirts. Some blades and bits. Well, I got Decorative. reading material for a week. And then I don't know. You got the current sales flyer? No, I don't think so. Now you do. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Cool, buddy. You See bet. you a little later. Yep. All right. All right. I'm, I'm coming hungry, so bring your bring I'll your bring credit you. card. I'll bring my biggest credit card. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. I just got done chatting with the Pharaoh guys, and we are done. The guys did everything without me. Bugs is brooming. It's all finished up. It looks good. This job came out good. All the water issues are going to be fixed for them. Everything up here flows on an angle. It's going to hit the curb, his downspout, all that water is going to go right down the curb line and it's not going to empty until it's beyond the neighbor's foundation. So that'll save the neighbor's foundation and I might even get us another job because he said he was really happy about that and I just gave him a price for his job and he seems really interested. So we did a couple pieces of sidewalk in the front, a little shed pad there for him and I'm going to knock on the door and see if he's got my money. We're heading to the next job in just a few minutes. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, we're all set. All right. You got my money? Uh, how much is it? A ton. I got cash. You do? Yeah. Oh, well you can, uh, you can just add uh, 300, not 800. I'll give you 500 discount. Tell them I gotta follow them. I don't got GPS. They're, they said no. You can follow me. I can't tell them anything they don't want to do because they don't listen. They don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bugs <laughs> didn't want a shirt song. Bugs didn't what? He didn't want a shirt song. Keep it. We didn't have a, there's no larges. She was mad. Dude. I, I don't care. <laughs> Everything came out real good. Your neighbor was really happy too. Oh, yeah. Did he go home? yeah, he was really happy. He wanted a bid on his driveway and everything, so I gave him a price oh, to do his. Nice. Yeah, he's real happy. He likes you too. He said you're a real good guy. Man, cash money. Cash money. All right, well, thank you very much. Yep, really thanks. appreciate the work. Yeah. I think everything will be really good for you. Awesome. You shouldn't have to replace it for like a good three to four years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And thank you for your service too. Yeah, thanks. Swag's twisted though. Can I untwist it? Yeah, go for it. I, I know you can never keep up because they just keep twisting. Yeah. Mine, dri like... mine drives me crazy <clears throat> too. All right, man. Well, All thank right. you. Thanks. All right. On to the next one. Ray's got to follow me because he has no phone. All right, we're just pulling up to the job. He's got a lot of stuff in the driveway. We might have to move some of that stuff. So we are going to, not this year, but we're going to be replacing the driveway, front sidewalk, fix all this up. But this year is just going to be the patio. Uh, that's kind of what I thought. I thought there was going to be a stoop underneath. There was a wood deck over the top of the old stoop. So that's what we're going to do is... We're going to rip this stoop out and I was thinking to, uh, it's funny, I couldn't see it before, but I was going to make it the same design. We're pretty, pretty much just going to replace the stoop just like it is, except uh, the elevation is incorrect. That first rise up to the door by the threshold there, that's too short. So we're going to have to rip that off, rip that off. He's going to have to 
He's gonna have to trim in his siding. So I'm gonna text him so he knows about that. He's got electric right there. Where's it going? Probably to the garage. Probably gonna dig that up. That's gonna be the only issue here is that, because I'm sure that's right under here. No, we're just doing a patio here and a stoop. So. Stop in here? Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're gonna do the driveway next year. <sighs> I have no idea where Francisco and Eric are. Every time we go from one place to the next, they're gone for a while. I mean, it's only 10 in the morning. I don't know. Poopity doopity, I guess. Grab the breaker. I don't know if we're gonna need the auger or not. Probably just end up using the footing that's in the ground already. I gotta be honest, this tilt deck trailer, man, it's nice. It's really nice. Where were you guys? Hold one? Yeah. All right. I don't mind if you guys stop. It's not a problem, really. All right. Who's pooping? Oh, poopity doopity. First thing we gotta do is pull these posts out. I grab the chain. We'll rip these guys right out. That's one. Can't rip his soffit off on this one. Well, I'm glad he didn't get killed. I didn't expect that. Never had that happen before. Where are you? All right, yeah, bye. Open? I don't know. I don't know what you do at the gas station for a half an hour, unless everything's plugged up. Running towards Eric. What dog? Oh, right there's loose. Oh, that's a nice dog, though. You could tell. Oh no, he's not. No. No. Should have seen that. Yeah. No, he kept running towards me, and then he went to go get Eric. Dude, that thing was. Ah. Eric, look inside the truck now. Yeah, that just gives Eric an excuse to sit in the truck more. <laughs> do is push Ray you don't have to do anything but push really hard yeah put your belly into it there you go good work so that's what they did there that's the original stoop and then they added that step on so I believe this stoop has a footing under it. We're gonna find out. Ah, it's not that strong, I cracked right away. That's good. Oh yeah! Easy money! So they use wood forms on the inside to contain the gravel. That's why it's hollow like that makes it a lot easier for us to take out. It's not super, super, super thick. Nothing really holding it together. Just cave in, watch. Oh. They got a rebar into the block in the back. Something, no, nothing. I wanna make it like this, pretty much the same as it was with an extra step on. They had the original stoop and then they had the extra step. Right, so you wanna step here? Yeah. You want them going here yeah, and out? No. Yeah, but nothing here. Just the wall. Size? Just a wall. Probably put the fir the the first stoop. However, distances will match it, and then plus okay. the step. So just match what we have on that side, and then start with a step over here. Yeah. Only D walls in there. No battery. I don't think the I don't think the Milwaukee's at the land. Well, it's not at the land then. Well, where is it? Garage. You sure you check good? I checked good. I did he too. Checked. Me too. Checked. Yeah. I checked good in his truck. I didn't look that way. I did. did. I went all over. Did we use it today or yesterday? We used it yesterday. We used it yesterday? Probably Eric's truck. Or two days ago, I think. <laughs> I got my brand new ones. We'll bring it over here. We need it. Forever. And it's not in the cab of that truck? Not in there. Not in the cab. Look at even the back of your seat, too. Just, oh, look at that. Dude, something's, Tino. something's wrong with you guys. Tino, man. <laughs> Tino! It was right there. Tino said dude, he couldn't find it in there. Literally right in the box, right where it's supposed to be. And and two guys were looking for it and they like can't find it. It's literally right where it's supposed to be. 
Just sitting right there. I looked at that. Sitting in the box exactly where it's supposed to be. Just sitting, just like this. They both look fine. Right in the box, perfectly. Oh, the glasses. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna break just a little bit more around this thing here. figure out some heights real quick so we know the risers on the steps you're working out right me you looking at the guns <laughs> i'm built under all fat i got some muscle hey look at this really nice window wall they used yeah it's beautiful yeah it's like it's like some really thin sheet metal we'll probably just box this out Cause look at the height's gonna be it's real only time. there <clears throat> somebody come out by the truck grab the pin for the auger i'll put the auger on and auger those real quick come on, Eric. that way he can start messing with that we'll just get as far as we can and i'll i'll use the i'll use the 11 o'clock pour because they were talking about rain in the morning yeah, anyway right. it's supposed to clear out though yeah so we'll set We'll get as much as done as we can today, and then in the morning we'll finish, and then at 11 we'll pour. The other guys all stopped at the gas station and ate already, so... No, I didn't either. Neither did Ray. I know. The other guys stopped and ate. Yeah, right. I saw you eating chicken like... Om, nom, 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 nom. Oh, wow. And you don't even ask or nothing. Say, so, hey, Ryan, I'm, I'm going to the gas station. You want some food or something? Said it's a meat. Well, I got you a chicken. No, I busted you, so he gave me a chicken so I didn't get mad. Let's be honest. I don't know where you guys keep the pin. Wherever it is. Well, you just cut another pin then. If we need if we need to. You gotta cut the other end though. Right here, this side. Yeah. This much? Yeah, you can see how long it is. You gotta put your belly into it like ah. Like who? Wow! See? Ah, see, it went right in. You just need the little grunt. Now ah, we're talking. Eric, what are you doing? Can, can you come and help take this off? Popping the sidewalk out here. We're not replacing it. We're just taking it out and leaving. He's going to put topsoil and planting bed or maybe just grass. I don't know. Bugs is working on the stoop behind me. Everything's going good. It's uh, it's 12.01 right now. Yeah, right. that would have hurt a lot more than that. It would have been, it would have been more like a compound fracture if I hit him with the skid loader. Say hi! <laughs> he missed again. Whoa! He almost broke the glass. Grab a shovel, we gotta get that out of there because he's just gonna put grass. Ray, you're full. You want some food? We're gonna get something. I can bring you something back. Give me something to eat, I'm hungry. Anything, Ray? I don't know what you got. I don't know, whatever. Eric, you gotta stay in work because you already ate. So get this all set up by the time we get back. Then we can leave when we get back. Go ahead and dump that. I'll get you something. You eat anything, you don't really mind. I don't want any gravel today at all. We'll put gravel tomorrow. I just want to get it all dug out nice, you know. Tomorrow morning we can put the gravel and all that. No, it says 15 times hotter than a jalapeno. I'll give you a dollar if you want. A dollar, man. I just had a little tip of one and it's burning already. One Thai chili pepper challenge. Where did bugs go? I'm gonna eat the whole thing there. I ate like 30% of it so far. 
I can't stop now. Dude, I can smell it all the way. <laughs> it's really hot now, for real. And you're I'm, crying already. Oh, I'm finishing this though. Those are really bad. Came over here to, I parked right in the jungle. Over here by cousin's subs. I just spilled my entire Sprite on myself. Oh, you did it, you <laughs> And I'm, it's kind of embarrassing. Everybody that sees me is gonna be like, oh, he peed his pants. Really, you smell that? I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna be in the back like, you guys smell that? <laughs> he just peed himself. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Oh, from Jay, huh? Yeah? I gotta have a detail. I'm gonna call Nathan. I can't even eat in there and drink soda. No? Well, she pooped in there. I know. Twice. Twice that I know of. She, she threw up and pooped. This looks really good. And then a side, two sides of barbecue sauce. Ranch, and that's it? Yeah, ranch, mayo, and. Ranch, all right. Just give me a ranch and two sides of ranch. Give me a combo of fries. What are you getting here? What are you getting? Uh, cheese steak. Double cheesesteak? Tri triple? You layer your food. Like you have one meal and then the next and then the next and then the next. Do you think they got lost? Yeah, they did. Yeah, probably. Okay, we're back. Eric and I went to Cousin Subs. I don't know where Francisco and Bugs went. We didn't end up at the same place. Why are you all wet? Water? Were you washing your beard again? I knew it. You could tell. Look at he washed his beard and look at all the grease that came out. No, I got it from Bugs gave me some of his stuff too. I was like, thank you, Bugs. What did he get? He had tacos. They had tacos. They had taco truck. Oh, uh, we should have went to the taco truck, Eric. Right, well, I didn't know. I didn't know either. Man, Francisco. You okay? We went we were right here waiting for you guys to turn around for a long time. Huh? No, no, you guys pulled up. I thought you were turning around. I was waiting for you and you were waiting for us. We're gonna have to dig that corner by hand, you guys. Oh. Yeah. All right, I've been digging. Got the patio mostly dug out. You guys have to dig that corner by hand because I can't fit. No, you gotta go more. Oh, yeah, you. the bottom of the bottom of this form is concrete height, so we need like a good like six inches. You got about four right now. Like down there, that's plenty deep. That's plenty, okay, plenty good. deep. Yeah. Raise a beast with the pick though. Oh, yeah. oh, right, give me the pick. Right. I do it the easy way though. Right, I use the right side. You're using the hard side though, right? All you're doing is. This side is so much easier for just loosening the dirt before the shovelers. All right, that's all the dirt. I'm gonna run some strings. We'll set this little L of forms. Tomorrow morning we'll grade. I'm gonna put some blocks in the stoop to kind of retain the gravel so we can build it up with gravel. And, uh, you know, compact. All that good stuff. Ray. Go dump that, get a load of gravel, come back here, hook up the trailer, and then go to the yard, you're done. We'll be gone by the time you get back here. I just wanna set these L forms and then we're good for today. Right. I'm gonna put some strings up. It's pretty simple. Tomorrow all we gotta do is grade, compact, and all that. And we'll have plenty of time. Right, Ryan. Hmm? Hey, hey. Look at it. Oh. What is he doing, bro? Who let the guns out? Hey, you look. Man, that could right. be a, that could be like a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to strike this carefully, on an angle. It's not pitch. No, it doesn't have much. Did Tino get the forms for the stuff from the truck? Yeah. Look at how many forms he got. I, I Tino. Already brought four. Tino, why? Why did you grab all these forms? I got four. Just to make sure. All that was in the truck? Yeah, got it. Oh my, is there a lucky day? You can put everything away. That's all we're doing today. Okay. So we got, we're going to have uh, more than enough time tomorrow morning to get the rest of this ready. Concrete's now till 11. This is the Inca texture with a tool joint. And we'll use the blue strips again. All right, we are done for today. This patio is pretty much set up. All we have to do tomorrow is grade it, 
put a shut off in it's about two o'clock right now so it's still pretty early i'm gonna buy some this is one of the issues we had last time is you know underneath the last step our shut off board under here in this area you know it leaves a lip if you pour it like that and you got to break it off with a mag or saw it off the next day so i'm going to run to home depot tomorrow morning i'm going to get block i'm going to stack block on the existing footing footing just to contain the gravel so we don't have to pour uh, too thick and then i'll buy some uh, one inch foam and we'll screw some foam right to the two by four under there so that should pretty much flush it out for the most part so we don't have to struggle with that all right that's it for today i'll see you guys in the morning adios